Welcome again to Hidden ADHD. I'm Larry Lettich. What exactly is adult ADHD? What causes it? Essentially, ADHD is a glitch or small malfunction in the part of the brain and central nervous system that is responsible for helping you to easily, naturally, and subconsciously direct, control, and prioritize information. Got that? I'll say it again. ADHD, or at least the inattentive aspect of it, is caused by a glitch, a defect, a small malfunction in the subsystem of the brain that is responsible for helping you to easily and naturally direct, control, and prioritize attention, mostly subconsciously. Let me explain what I mean. Every single moment, your brain is receiving thousands upon thousands of bits of information coming from the world around you and from the internal state of your body. From all of this information, your brain must filter out what is not important to pay attention to at that moment and pay attention to what is. Let me ask you a question. What are you aware of right now? Obviously, you're aware of me talking to you through the screen. You may also be aware of the room you're in, or sounds coming in through the window, or other people in the room. Now I'd like you to try a little experiment. I'd like you to think about your left big toe. Okay, did you notice how all of a sudden you knew exactly how your left big toe felt? Where did that awareness come from? It was already there, but a few seconds ago, it was probably wasn't important enough for you to pay attention to it. But if you had dropped a big bowling ball on it a few minutes ago, you wouldn't have needed me to tell you to pay attention to it. But of course, your brain is doing much more than just making a gross sort of what should or shouldn't reach your awareness. It is carefully comparing and calibrating all of this information to decide exactly how important each bit of information might be so that it is given the attention it requires. And it does most of this without practically any conscious effort on your part. This is a darn good thing. Think back to when you first learned to drive. You had to think about everything. But after a while, driving became automatic and now you can drive almost without thinking. Your mind is free to think about other things. If that didn't happen, and if you had to think about every day of your life the way you had to think about driving back when you were first learning it, you would be utterly exhausted before your morning coffee break. In folks with ADHD, this unconscious process of assigning importance, which originates in the midbrain, not in the higher thinking centers, is slightly off kilter. Instead of directing attention based on information's true importance, it tends to automatically give priority to the strongest stimuli. What this means is that what gets attention is what's loud, what's close, what's urgent, what's new and novel, what's shiny, and what's intrinsically interesting. And for folks with inattentive ADHD, there is an added dimension. In folks with inattentive ADHD, the calibration system is a little bit off in such a way that their own thoughts, feelings, and internal signals of their body state come through just a little bit too loudly compared with the information from the external senses, which causes them to miss at times important or even critical information from the outside world. If you read about ADHD, you may have read somewhere that ADHD is a failure in the executive functions of the brain. I never liked the way that sounded. It makes it sound as if people with ADHD are simply immature or can never be good executives. That's simply not true. I think of ADHD as a malfunction in the executive secretary portion of the brain. Really important executives have executive secretaries, or if you prefer, chiefs of staff who take care of things like the schedule, the people the executive meets, and the reports that come to the executive's desk, so that the executive is free to think only about the really big, important decisions. Similarly, the executive secretary in the brain, working quietly and unassumingly in the background, is responsible for making our daily lives run smoothly. 
if it's working the way it should. Let's say you have a plane to catch at 6 p.m. on a weekday evening. If you're neurotypical, the executive secretary in your brain makes you feel long ahead of time whether you are working fast enough to finish your work before you must leave to catch the plane, and you speed up accordingly. Or let's say that your boss comes to you and says calmly and politely that he needs a certain report from you before tomorrow at noon. Your inner executive secretary will pick up on your boss's message, despite his calm tone, and cause your focus to naturally shift. Whatever you were doing up until that moment will start to feel less interesting, or at least less compelling, while the things you need to do to write that report will suddenly become more so. In people with ADHD, however, this inner executive secretary is off kilter. Rather than consider all sorts of subtle factors, like the departure time of your flight, the distance from the airport, possible traffic, and the look on your boss's face, it tends to automatically assume that whatever is loud, close, new and novel, urgent or intrinsically engaging, deserves to get your attention. If a piece of information is not one of those things, it may simply not register or stick at all. This is not a matter of thinking or caring. This is happening at the level of the brain that is usually below the level of consciousness. This throws all sorts of systems out of whack. Like a virus in an otherwise powerful computer, ADHD creates weird, seemingly inexplicable difficulties in otherwise intelligent, sane, and responsible people, and generally gums up the works to make EDDers work harder to succeed at life than other equally intelligent people. You may be thinking, if all this is happening below the level of my conscious brain, what in the world can I do about it? I'm doomed. Well, don't despair. If you understand the processes in your nervous system that are causing this problem, you can find ways around them. You can construct neural pathways around the areas that are causing you trouble. I will be talking about how to do that in upcoming videos. And be sure to view my video where I talk about the symptoms that this glitch in the nervous system typically causes. Mm -hmm.